Good day and thank you for watching our video. Today we have a Cleveland model JS36 um, bucket truncher. You won't see too many of these. It does have some cable over hydraulics. It does run. They haven't used it in a couple years because they uh, had it on a job and they were using it for that one specific job and they didn't need it anymore. There are two of them here. Uh, you can see it shifts back and forth. The mechanic that's running it really hasn't operated it. He's just sort of going by feel. It has an international harvester diesel engine. Um, you see it's got a discharge conveyor. They put these safety cages on the side because the Michigan Department of Transportation said in order for them to use it, that's what they had to do. You can see it's crawling right now. You can see the conveyor spinning, the discharge conveyor. We're going to go ahead and try and get that wheel to spin. It has been parked for a couple years, so we're going to see what it does here. It is moving, believe it or not, slowly. There we go. Now the truncher wheel is turning, as you can see, and it's crawling right along. They use this for some drain tile on uh, the side of the freeway, and uh, it did an entire job, and then they parked it, and then they were sort of done with it. But it does run. Uh, it might need a little more work and some lubrication and a little bit of time, but. Other than that, uh, right now it's ready to go. You could put it to work. Like I said, you can see it running right now. Thank you for watching our video. There is about $3,000 worth of brand new Pertec hoses on there as well. But thank you for watching our video. Please call the office with any questions you may have and good luck in bidding in the auction. Also, I want to show you the other one. We're going to include this one in the sale. Um, we could not get it to run. You could either use it as a parts machine or you could, in fact, um, put a little work and time into it and get it to run as well. Thank you again for watching the video. Please call the office with any questions you may have, and good luck in bidding in the auction.